Henry Prince has lived in this fishing village for more than six decades. He admits that while he has frequently heard the term climate change, he does not pay too much attention to it and he does not know what it really means. Prince, who is 67 and depends on the sea for his livelihood, said he has been catching less and less fish and the decrease is taking a financial toll on fisher folk, not only here, but throughout the country. Well, I heard about the climate change, but I never pay no great thing towards it. You don't catch jacks as much. No. Jacks, a small fish widely used by fishermen as bait, are also fried and eaten by poor families for whom they are an inexpensive source of protein. Over the past six years, fisher folk have not been catching the jacks, which are usually found in abundance around the month of November. Due to the scarcity of jacks, fishermen have been forced to import sardines from the United States to use as bait. Grenada's Agriculture, Land, Fisheries and the Environment Minister, Roland Bola, believes the dwindling numbers of the fish in the country's waters is a direct result of climate change. This is how another fisherman, Ralph Crony, sums up his recent experiences. Catch it. One day good, one day bad. As far as, as, as I'm looking at it. Because for the... For the... For the last... Uh, yes, couple... The last how, few months. Few months. Yeah, party, you do nothing. Yeah, yeah, nothing, yeah, nothing, 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 nothing. The June month gone. Just on the last four men. Just on the last four men. Make big catch. 68 year old Crooney has been living on the seashore for close to 20 years. He noted that in recent times, the sea is getting a lot closer to his small shack, but he has no immediate plans to move. I feel comfortable here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because I like to be out of noise and but I come in noise. Okay. Because when you hear the sea blow down the yeah matter me, but the, the noise is there. Other families in the area are now thinking about relocating to communities in hilly areas but are still reluctant to move too far from their source of livelihood. Fishing families in the Caribbean see beachfront living as a virtual birthright with an alarming 70% of Caribbean populations living in coastal settlements. Scientists say Grenada has a high risk of being adversely impacted by climate change in several areas. These include coastal flooding due to natural disasters and storm surges. They also point to marine ecosystems being affected by increased ocean temperature and increased freshwater runoff resulting in coral reef destruction and food chain interruption which affect fishing and tourism industries. As countries prepare to adopt a new international climate change agreement at the Paris Climate Conference in December 2015, Bola said Grenada is looking forward to the implementation with great anticipation. My country, Grenada, a small developing country has very high vulnerability to climate change. A successful agreement for us, therefore, has to reduce the risk that we face from climate change and has to assist us in coping with the impacts on our country, our people, and our livelihood. A 2007 report by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change said the devastation wreaked on Grenada by Hurricane Ivan in 2004 is a powerful illustration of the reality of small island vulnerability. The hurricane killed 28 people, caused damage twice the nation's gross domestic product, damaged 90% of the housing stock and hotel rooms, and shrank an economy that had been growing nearly 6% a year. Desmond Brown, IBS News, Grenada.